Why was it so important for you to be here tonight? I've had a wonderful experience being trained by nurses who were primarily trained in the Philippines. Okay. And this is a rich tradition that the Philippines has. You know, they've trained healers and they send them to other countries. But I was blessed to be at a hospital in New York Presbyterian, Columbia University, where we had a huge cadre of them. So I literally felt like I was walking through the Philippines. And they taught me not just about the numbers of healing, but the, just the light, the, 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 the beauty of healing the person. And that compassion they've always exemplified and been able to demonstrate to my patients is something that has always captured my attention. So when I saw the Philippines hurt so tragically with this typhoon, and I wanted to play a role, and this is a you know, wonderful opportunity to play a little bit uh, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a role to, to make it a little easier for the folks in the Philippines. And uh, you recently had students of your um, organization, Health Corps, um, read letters of hope to them. Do you have any um, extra um, inspiring words to pass on to people in the Philippines? I had a unique experience this past week. We asked a lot of kids who were in the area to write letters to people in the Philippines, expressing their love for them, but also giving hope. And what, we, what these kids were all saying, and this is the wisdom I like to pass on to the people who are listening right now, is that oftentimes you think the catastrophe has already happened, and then there's immediate problems that surround that. Then all of a sudden you feel forgotten because everyone leaves and goes back. And it's that secondary wave of support that you often need. What these kids were saying was they know how it feels. They live here in Sandy when a, when a terrible hurricane hit this area as well. And they wanted to send the message to the Philippines, not to despair, the anxiety, the depression that sometimes follow an event like this where you feel isolated and forgotten uh, should not be there because you're not forgotten. We will always be there for you. Well, thank you. For